my channel and welcome to um, another charity shop book haul. I didn't need any more books that is for sure and I didn't just do a charity shop book rummage once I did it twice. I'm not proud I couldn't help myself um, I have no excuse. So uh, paperbacks are a 10p and large books or hardbacks are 20p and large I mean size like that way not like number of pages um yeah so i'm not gonna waffle i'm just gonna show you the books that i got um the first one i got was a gift from bob i know i got the street cat named bob what are you flopping today um in one of my last hauls and then i saw this and i thought oh this is a follow-on and it's about christmas i think so cats and christmas yeah i'm reading that i'm into that Next one I got, I don't know anything about, it's Miracles of Life, I know it is a true story and that was enough for me to be honest because I want to read more sort of memoirs, by um, autobiographies and that over the next year. So all I know is it says pre-war Shanghai and that's an area I don't really know anything about anyway and I thought yeah let's give it a go, I will let you know more when I've read it. Next one I wasn't expecting to see there, it's Half of the Yellow Sun uh, by Chimamanda Ngozi Adichie. I'm really sorry. I'm so bad at pronunciation. And again, I don't know anything about this, but it was it's been on BookTube so much, and I actually had put it on my Goodreads TBR. So I just snapped it up, and I thought we're just going to go for this. Let's see what happens. Next one, Matt Haig, The Humans. I haven't even read the last Matt Haig one I got yet, but. From what I've heard about his books, I'm really quite sure that I'm going to like his writing style. That's a bit of an assumption to make before I've read any, but for 10p, I'm going with it. Um, it just looks quite interesting. Um, something about aliens and a dog, and I'm for that. I'm totally for that. So yeah, we're doing it. Next one, this is a book I just feel that I should read. Chocolat. I mean... I did read another one of Joanne Harris's book, I read Five Quarters of an Orange, I didn't like it, really. Um, I just found the, the writing style was really, really description heavy and I like a little bit more conversational so I'm kind of anticipating that for this one but it's just one of those books that I feel, I, I hear about all the time, I'm like no Sophie you've got to read it, just read it girl. Next one, again I don't know anything else about, it's um, Green Zone. And I know, again, this is a true story, but it, I think it's more military based. Um, attempt to build American democracy in a war-torn Middle Eastern country. Ew, I don't know. Um, this is totally out of my comfort zone. This is not something I would normally pick up, but it is winner of the BBC4 Samuel Johnson Prize for non-fiction. And I'm just going to give it a go. I don't know any more about it, but we're doing it. Next one, I picked it up purely because I wanted to start reading more classics and I know the name James Joyce and this is a portrait of the artist as a young man. Um, again, I don't know anything about it apart from it is a bit of a classic, so we're doing it. We're doing it. Now this one was a total cover buy. This was a whole 20p, can you believe it? I love it. Look at that little guy. So this is called Let's Pretend This Never Happened. I know that this is, again, it's um, a bit of a memoir. And all I know about it is it's really funny and um, her dad's a taxidermist. And I was just like, yeah. Um, if the typical father says things like, happy birthday, here's a bathtub of raccoons. Um, or we'll have to take your car, mine has too much blood in it. Then he's totally normal. And I just thought, yeah, I need to look how cute that is. Oh, I just thought, I know, I know that's going to make me laugh, so I'm all up for that. The next one I kind of got for work, um, I think I mentioned before that we're, we're medical people, and medical people, ambulance technicians, that's the one, and we teach first aid as well, and I found Body Worlds, and it's the collection that they have at their um, museum. But it's got all sorts 
of pictures I will put a warning on this um, that I thought would be really handy for work so yeah more for that right the next trip to the charity shop these are really different and the woman there she's like you have got quite an eclectic taste in reading and I was like yeah that's probably a polite way of saying it next one I got again Tattooist of Outs which it's I just feel I don't know enough about the Holocaust times. We didn't cover it at great length at school. It was like we read the Diary of Anne Frank in English and that was it. So I just want to expand my knowledge a little bit and I think this is, yeah, based on a powerful true story. So more for that, I'll learn a little bit more. The next one, I got some kids books. But they're just books that I feel I should read. Um, I've got a couple of Rudyard Kiplings. I got obviously the Jungle Book and Kim, which I don't know anything about. But again, as I said, I want to read the classics and things, and that can extend to kids' books in my world. So why not? And then I got a couple of Roll Dial. I got Fantastic Mr. Fox and The Twits. Um, again, I just. I know I've only read one or two of his and I just thought, yeah, do you know what? Let's do it. Next one was an author by Kazuo Ishiguro. I'm sorry. Um, and this is when we were orphans. Orphans. And uh, I didn't even read the back, as I said, I just grabbed it because I saw the author and I thought everyone's raving about um, them on YouTube, on Booktube. And it was shortlisted for the Booker Prize last year and I was like, just read it so grab it go for it two more little fires everywhere um i think there was a tv show about this was there again this was a booktube made me buy it i mean everyone's gone on about it so i went for it and then i love reading about reading and bookshops and i found how to find love in a bookshop so I think that's just going to be a sweet, cosy Sunday afternoon read for me. So anyway, that's all the books I got. That whole lot came to, I think it was like £2.10, which just seems absolutely bonkers, because, you know, what can I say? All but two were 10p and the other two were 20p. I will say at the moment, if you are shopping, please be mindful of the pandemic, okay? We were wearing masks and we went, and I wipe and disinfect everything when it gets home. So please be mindful if you are out shopping at the moment, there is still a lot going on. But I will hopefully resist the urge to buy any more books for another week or two and I really need to make a dent in the books that I've got. So I'll come back and speak to you soon. Have an awesome week guys.